I like to think of Photoshop as an imaging platform. Because of its extensible architecture, it's able to open hundreds of different file formats. In fact, it's able to open over 500 proprietary RAW formats. But one of the questions is, once you have these images open in Photoshop, what do you save them out to? Because you also have a dizzying array of choices when it comes to saving. So I wanted to walk you through some of the most popular options for saving and file types. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop with a multi-layered file with a little bit of transparency, a vector shape, and as we notice in the upper left, it's a 32-bit file. And so when we come to File, Save As, we're going to have some limited options. There are only so many different file formats that will support 32-bit files. Photoshop PSD is the one you want to use whenever you can. It's the only file format that supports all of Photoshop's feature set. So video, 3D, HDR, all the different stuff that I can do in here, that's all supported in PSD. The only difference between PSD and large document, PSB, is think of B as big. For really large files, PSB is the one you want to use. It still supports everything, and it's still associated with Photoshop. Now, file formats like OpenEXR are great if all you're doing is HDR, but you'll notice they don't support layers. TIFF is fantastic if you're handing off to a non-Adobe application, but keep in mind it's not going to be as deeply integrated with Photoshop or with other Adobe apps. It's a great file format. It's really handy, uh, but not as deeply integrated as PSD. Okay, so let's switch to 16-bit. And we're not going to merge those, but we'll see that we have a lot more choices now. If we come in here, we've got some new ones. JPEGs, really great, smaller image. They will discard the layer, so I'm going to lose that non-destructive workflow that I had. Photoshop PDF. This one's really handy because it supports a lot of the functionality in Photoshop. It can be opened back into Photoshop, but it can also be shared with just about anybody. Anyone who has the Acrobat Reader can open a Photoshop PDF. If you change the file extension to PDP, it will associate it with Photoshop. PDF will launch Acrobat. And again, we've got TIFF in here as well. Now, when it comes to something like PNG or Ping, we'll talk about that in just a second. In fact, let's go ahead and change this to 8-bit. And again, we'll see that we have a lot more options when it comes to saving. And with most of these, like GIF or JIF, like JPEG, Ping, we're going to use Save for Web. That's a much more powerful place to do this. I could save directly out of here, and sometimes with a JPEG I might want to, but Save for Web is really where you want to go for those. And the reason for that is you see a nice full screen preview. You can preview it in the browser. You can see all sorts of different options unique to the file format. You can strip away metadata. And let's just go between, say, a JPEG, which doesn't offer transparency, and a Ping 8, which you see does. And then, of course, we do things like Ping 24, even higher bit depth, better resolution. So you have a lot of control here, and this is really essential for pushing files to the web or sharing them in those formats. So you can bring in just about anything. As you can see, you can save to all sorts of different formats, and hopefully that gives you some great tips for your playbook as far as which file format you want to use and when.